What more do we know at this point? So what we know is that FWD was planning to launch its US IPO as soon as this week, but that's now full of facing delays and quite likely, it's looking increasingly unlikely, sorry, that it's going to happen um, this year. A final decision has yet to be made, but essentially they're weighing um, not going ahead with the US IPO given that there's been increasing scrutiny from the US Securities and Exchange Commission, um, as well as there's been some pushback from investors on the targeted valuation. So the SEC has been asking the company lots of questions um, and it hasn't sort of received the final approval yet in time for its planned launch. Um, some of the questions concern, for example, the potential reach of the Chinese government over its operations. Um, and this comes as the SEC has been asking lots of questions from Chinese companies um, who are looking to list in the US about the regulatory risks they face from China in the wake of the crackdown that we've seen, which has um, uh, affected essentially loads of companies. Um, at one point caused a rout of a trillion dollars and also caused a complete halt, essentially, in the flow of Chinese companies to New York. And what does that tell you, then, about just overall sentiment towards just Hong Kong companies? I understand maybe, given the tensions, that maybe Chinese companies would be facing this regulatory scrutiny, but is this likely to spread to more Hong Kong companies that are interested in enlisting in the U.S. now? It certainly suggests that what we have seen, and this is um, from FWD and some other Hong Kong companies such as AMT Digital that have been looking to do US IPOs, they began making changes to their filings for US IPOs um, and they were flagging the potential regulatory risks from China despite the fact that they have little to no substantive um, operations in the mainland. Um, so this is certainly a sign that A, the SEC is asking them to disclose risks um, a lot more clearly, a lot more prominently, but also that there's a lot of uncertainty about what this overhaul that we're seeing in China actually means for Hong Kong companies as well. And certainly um, there's a lot of investor pushback, a lot of investor um, hesitation around investing in these companies given um, what's going on.